I can't believe I'm actually about to go through with this right now. Yo, what's good y'all Troll? and I think it's safe to say that I'm about to do my craziest video I've ever done in this channel and that's gonna be water testing the Galaxy Z Fold 2 and actually putting this in ice for 24 hours. I've been teasing this on my social media for a little bit now and I can't even believe myself that I'm about to go through with this video here. So what we're gonna go and do is we're gonna put this thing in this container over here and fill this thing up with water for 5 minutes to see if it survives and then after that we're gonna put it in my freezer for 24 hours. I don't think I've ever been so nervous to do a video before in my life but anyway so let's get into it. Alright y'all, so we're back here at the legendary unboxing table as usual, and I hope this table really does become legendary after this video in terms of views, because if it doesn't, uh, pockets are gonna be hurting, I'm just saying. Because if you didn't know already, this phone costs $2,000, and this is the real deal as you can see here, because I'm pretty sure there's no fake phones out there with a folding screen, like not from what I saw, so I mean like you can't really fake this video. But I don't really got money like that, I'm not bougie like that, besides my Fiji wire that I'm drinking over here. I'll wrap this up pretty quick, but you're probably asking, Latrell, why are you doing this video at all? if you don't got money like that well reason number one is because i've always been interested in knowing if these foldable phones will survive water tests and things like that so i haven't seen any on youtube yet so i think i'm like the first of a galaxy z phone or a galaxy fold so here i am and two is because i'm really just hoping that this video makes up for the cost of the phone like i got into this youtube game not to play it safe but to play it big like that's a quote on my website so i got my og galaxy fold over here that i'm gonna use as my timer in my main phone because i really have no hope that this phone is gonna survive like all this like there's no way and I was gonna do a water resistance test on this Galaxy Fold before, but like I just couldn't be without the Galaxy Fold for an extended period of time, so like that's why I didn't do it and now I'm doing it now. So just to clarify things, this phone has no IP rating at all, so it's not IP68 or 69 or none of those things like the Galaxy S20 FE was when I did that Coca-Cola freeze test. And yeah, that Galaxy S20 FE might have survived that Coca-Cola freeze test, but this is different. So I think I did enough talking here, so let's just go and get into this water test and freeze test of the Galaxy Z Fold 2, so I have 5 minutes here on the clock. There's nothing wrong with this phone or anything it's perfectly fine so if i go and show you the cover display that's cool too there's no issues there so i'm just doing this freeze test and water test so are you guys ready i'm not like i've been shaking behind this camera the whole time and like i've been procrastinating to finally do this video but here we are i just put the screen time out on 10 minutes so let's just go and do this guys and let's go and do it in three two one. Oh wow i'm really doing this right now latrell what are you doing stop 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 man wow Latrell, there's no turning back. Okay, guys, that's it. So let's just go ahead and get through this five minutes real quick and I'll get back to y'all. All right, y'all, so the time is up. And man, I can't actually believe that this thing still works right now. Like, look at the screen. It's still on. Wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting this at all. I thought for sure this thing was going to turn off or something, man. But look at that. It's the touchscreen. It's working and everything. Like, let me go ahead and use this outer display. And that's working too. Man, I'm like, what, what do the cool kids say? Flabbergasted, man. That is insane. So it looks like things are good right now. Let's go and play Over the Horizon and let's listen to those speakers there. Oh, yeah, you can, you can see it spitting out there. But yeah. The speakers are still going too. Okay, let me move this thing to the side because I don't want to accidentally do a water test of both phones. But wow, okay then, let's go and try the flex mode to make sure that works right. And by the way, what you just saw a little bit ago is my light falling over onto the camera, so that's a ill. Anyways, using a fingerprint scanner, I just dried this thing off. It still works and everything, so flex mode, that seems to be working just fine too. Wow, man, Samsung, you got something going on here. I don't see no condensation or anything yet in the camera, and even on the front camera. Now, let's go and look in the inside. Is there any condensation in there? Nope, not yet. So now it's time for the second part of this test. Let's go and put this thing in the freezer now. So we're gonna go and put that thing back here in the water. So let's just go and insert that right there. And then we're gonna just go ahead and put this top on and let's go over to my deep freezer. All right, so we're heading over to the deep freezer right now. So you can see the phone's kind of freaking out, but it does that with all Galaxy phones. So I'm not really surprised about that. But all right, let's go and turn on this Dollar Tree light again. Let's go and open the deep freezer and let's go ahead and grab this Galaxy Z Fold 2, putting it right there in the freezer. As you can see there, the screen's actually still on. It looks like this having no issues yet. So Sam Samsung, I'm really blown away with your Galaxy Z Fold 2. That's amazing, man. Anyways, let's go and set an alarm for 1.15 tomorrow. So I will see you in 24 hours when this Galaxy Z Fold 2 is completely frozen in this water. So all right, y'all. See you then. All right, y'all. So it's been 24 hours officially. If I go over here to my clock, as you can see here, my alarm did go off. But I was just outside working on something, so I didn't get to that. But you know what time it is, man. Let's go and check this out. And here is the phone. So it's been in here the entire time. And as you can see, wow, look at that. 
That's the Galaxy Z Fold 2 right there. So we're actually gonna put this thing to the side just for now. We're gonna go back over here to the unboxing table and check this thing out. All right, y'all, so we're back here, and I just wanna say real quick before we get into this, like, I did check up on this phone maybe like six hours in, and I don't even lie to you when I say this. The phone was still on. I still saw the always on display. So the fact that it lasted in there for that long, like, it wasn't even frozen yet, but it was in there for that long. That's insane. But let's just go ahead and get into this. So, oh, yeah, you can see the Z Fold 2 right there, and I think I'm gonna have to go to my seat. All right, people, so I'm in my laundry room, so let's go and turn on this hot water right here. And, oh, yeah, let's get this thing out of here, man. Let's try not to break it if it ain't broken already, which I'm pretty sure it is at this point. But I just want to get this thing out the container at least, so I'm going to just do that for a little bit. And there we go. So here is our Z Fold 2. Just look at that. So I'm going I'm to get a quick little snap of that. Wow, that is insane. So I think now maybe if I try this, oh, yep, that's not coming out. I think it'll be safer if we just turn on the hot water, so let's just do that. All right, so we got the phone here, so I think that's good enough. Let's go and see if we can take that out. Oh, yep, we got it, we got it. Oh, it's still a little bit stuck. Let me turn on the hot water again. Let's see, can we get this thing off of here? Cause I'm really not trying to break it if it ain't broken already. All right, cool. We got the phone off. Let's go back to the table. Okay, at this point, I feel like there's like zero chance of this thing surviving. So let me know in the comments below, do you think this survived or not? But just drying this off real quick, I want to go ahead and clean out the screen and get the back of the phone. As you can see here, look at that. The hinge is still just fine, so it's flexing, and you can see all that wire just gushing out of there. But yeah, as you can see there, it don't got that same satisfying closing right now, but I'm sure it will. Oh wait, there we go. It does. So as you can see, the always on display ain't on no more, but surprisingly, the screen don't really look damaged, but I feel like it is. And like, I don't know, man. I don't think this is going to turn out. You can see all this water coming out of here every time I flex it, and the phone's getting a little bit warm right now, like not even lying to you. And of course, guys, if you so happen to freeze your phone in a block of ice, which I know, like, that's an accident waiting to happen. Do not turn on your Galaxy Z Fold right away, but I'm about to go and do that right now after I shake a little bit more water out of here. So now let's go and try to turn this on in three, two, one and let's see do we get a vibration or anything no we do not so how surprising now if we put on the wireless charger what happens then let's go and see here so nothing is happening right away but i got the wireless charger on so not seeing nothing there so as you can see here the red light is on so let me go and press that again you can see it so it's trying to wireless charge it but yeah y'all i think this phone is done skis unfortunately so honestly even if this did break we still have the cover display here which is all glass and everything and it's definitely nowhere near as fragile as this inner display but if you just look at these cameras here as you can see there's like zero condensation in there so that's really surprising maybe it'll show up later but for right now there's nothing in there so I'm gonna try one more resurrection option and that's actually plugging it in. So again, this is stupid. Don't do this. Do not listen to me right now. But let's try that in three, two, one, and there. So does it turn on? I don't think it's gonna do it. It didn't vibrate anything. So surprisingly, no, it's not turning on. Okay, so that's pretty sad. My $2,000 phone is pretty much dead now. So, I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> I mean, I could put it in rice, I guess, but still, like, I don't think it's going to turn back on. Like, I think after this and me trying to charge this thing like two times, like, there's no way this is going to turn back on. But I will put this thing in some rice and let y'all know in a couple days. So stay tuned for that. And guys, please give me some likes on this video and share this around with your friends because this is a very expensive phone if you haven't caught the message already. And now I can never see Samsung sending me a phone because I just froze their $2,000 Z Fold 2 in some water. So it did look like it could survive in some water for like five hours, which is really, honestly, it's insane. Like this has no official IP rating or anything. It does have some kind of coating on the inside to protect it, but that's honestly just from like splashes and things like that. So I still wouldn't take it in the shower or anything, but yeah, so that's what we got here with this water freeze test. So stay tuned for the update. Go and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss that. Anyways, y'all, thanks for watching. If you like this video, go and give this video a like. And if you really liked it, go and subscribe. But go and follow me on my social media, at Santec on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. But Instagram and Twitter is the most active. So yeah, if you have a Z Fold 2 or the OG Galaxy Fold, let me know in the comments below how tightly are you holding this thing tonight. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And peace out.